what is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today what i'm going to be doing is showing you guys the best mega knight deck in the game right now for lower level players mega knight is one of the most overpowered cards in the game so i'm going to be showing you guys how to use this deck this deck is absolutely insane for climbing ladder it has a 3.8 average elixir cost and right now this is currently one of the best meta decks in the game before we get into our very first battle of the day, make sure you guys go join my new clan called Official CRYT and meet a ton. So yeah, let's get on to our very first battle of the day, which in this battle, we go ahead and start off with the Zap, Inferno Tower, Magic Archer, Cannon, with the arrows coming in next. So right now we have a very defensive starting five, so I'm going to let him play first, unless he forces me to play first. But we're right now just waiting to see what he does. So right now, Diego is not doing much. So it's kind of a bit frustrating. So what he decided to do is zap the tower just to get some damage out of the way. He goes with the witch in the back left corner. So we go with the magic archer to take care of that very easily. We have the mega knight coming in next. He goes with his own mega knight. Infernal tower should take care of that pretty perfectly. Our magic archer is going for the mega knight. And I wish it went for the... Um, which he's going to connect to our tower and do a decent amount of damage. But I don't think he has very much elixir right now. So hopefully we, our Mega Knight can connect. He used the five elixir he had to place an Electro Dragon. Which isn't a very good play by him. Our Mega Knight is going to do a ton of damage to that tower on the left. He uses one of his offensive cards to help with the Mega Knight. So he has a little minor Electro Dragon push. Our cannon should take care of the minor and the ice wizard should also help out and once the miner is done the ice wizard will help out with the electro dragon but yeah right now we're looking very good we have the inferno tower coming in next we have the arrows skeleton army magic archer and zap when it comes to tower health we barely have an advantage on him there with a roughly 200 more health we place the magic archer in the back left corner he goes with the witch on the back right corner that which shouldn't be too big of an issue we're just going to take a little bit of damage off it with the zap and we're going to do a, a magic archer mega knight push he uses his mega knight which is a very good play by him we arrows on the right and we're waiting to get our inferno tower which should take care of that but he goes with the ram rider very good play by him we place the cannon to helpfully help out with the mega knight and as soon as the mega knight connects to the cannon we're going to place our skeleton army right behind it well played by us. We're looking very good. He goes with his princess. Well played by him. But we're looking very good right now. We do have an advantage on him still. We're going to place our magic archer to help take out all that stuff. He goes with the mega knight. Very well played by him. We should take care of that mega knight pretty easily with the inferno tower. Now we plan on using our mega knight to take care of that witch. Which we do pretty well. His electro dragon might be a little issue. And he also goes with the ram rider. Well played. But we take care of that um, Ram Rider pretty easily with our Ice Wizard and Mega Knight. We have a huge push here on the left. I'm expecting him to place his Mega Knight, which is going to be very crucial. He, in fact, doesn't because he had a very limited amount of Elixir. Our Magic Archer and Mega Knight should finish this game off. Good game. We end up getting the win. GG's to that, dude. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on to our second game of the day. Okay, so if we play as well as we did the first game, we're going to be looking very good. We're going to trade on to our second game. And if anyone's wondering why I'm only in Spooky Town, that is in fact because this is my backup account. On my main account, I have about 5,000 trophies. But yeah, we place the Ice Wizard in the back right. He places his Ice Wizard in the back right. We are go ahead. We're, are going to go ahead and play a Mega Knight push on the right side. Bad Skeleton Army by me. I pre-played the um, Skeleton Army, not knowing he had the Wizard. We take care of the Ice Wizard and hopefully the normal Wizard with the Mega Knight. And if you didn't see, he placed the Skeleton Army, which we took complete care of with the arrows. We perfectly played it. He goes with the Wizard and our Cannon takes care of that very easily with low difficulty. Right now, we have the Mega Knight coming in next with the Zap, Magic Archer, Ice Wizard, and Inferno Tower. We are looking very, very good right now. I don't know what to play. We're likely going to wait till we hit 10 Elixir or until he plays something. But yeah, that a Mega Knight, Magic Archer, Ice Wizard is a very, very, very solid push. 
because in case he places something, basically anything, the Ice Wizard will slow it down, which gives the Mega Knight more time to do more damage. And if he goes with the Skeleton Army, Goblin, Gang, anything really, Bat, the Magic Archer takes care of it perfectly. So it's a really solid push, and the Mega Knight does a ton of damage itself. He goes with the Graveyard. Graveyard shouldn't be too big of an issue due to our Magic Archer. So our Mega Knight's going to do a bit of damage to a few of those skeletons, but the main key is the Magic Archer doing a ton of work. Right now, the match is very, very even. He goes with the Valkyrie to take care of my Mega Knight. And hope I w our, ma our Magic Archer could have probably taken care of that Valkyrie, but we placed the cannon just to be safe. Hopefully, the Magic Archer gets a few damage on the tower, but it won't be able to due to the fact that he played the wizard. Our cannon should take care of the wizard very well, so we're going to wait to see what we're ten when tell until we're at 10 Elixir. Um, we have the Skeleton Army in the back right, since I don't know what else to do. We place the Ice Wizard in front, and the we plan on placing the Mega Knight in the front of the Ice Wizard to have a very solid push. But he, in fact, placed too many cards, and I felt the need to defend. We're going to have a very solid push very soon on the left with the Mega Knight, Magic Archer, and possibly Skeleton Army, Ice Wizard, something like that. We place the Skarmy out of the way on the right to make him be forced to use some Elixir. He wasted three Elixir on the Skeleton Army means he has less elixir to defend we're gonna go ahead and place the mega knight in front of those two cards so once it gets taken out we're gonna have a very solid push mega knight takes care of all that and waste of arrows good valkyrie by him we also go ahead and go with the second magic archer because you never know that card can be very very crucial to your opponent's tower as you guys can see the one on the right is doing a ton of damage to that tower but still we have more damage done on the right side we have nothing to play, so we go ahead and play the Infernal Tower and the Ice Wizard. Bad Ice Wizard by me is Wizard's going to do damage to our Ice Wizard and our, norm and our Tower. We'll play by him. We go with the um, poor Skeleton Army, but we are fine. Um, Valkyrie's going to do a ton of work to our Mega Knight. We'll play by him, but luckily for us, our Magic Archer might be able to do some good damage to that Ice Wizard and Tower. And that's truly what I love about the Magic Archer. If you master this card, it's nearly impossible to stop. Go ahead and place the Cannon and the Mega Knight, well played by us. He goes with the Skarmy. The Mega Knight should take care of that with very low difficulty. We place the Wizard in the back right. And he plays the Valkyrie as expected. We're going to place the Skeleton Army on the left to make him waste a Zap or Arrows, which we do perfectly. Um, we're doing a good amount of damage with that Magic Archer, and the Magic Archer connects to the tower. That's very crucial for him. That is going to do a ton of damage. Well done by us. And the Magic Archer is possibly going to finish the game. Not quite, but well played. His tower is very low. We're probably going to win this, because he seems not to be able to break through my defense. So we place the Mega Knight, Ice Wizard, Magic Archer. We just used our Magic Archer, so that Skeleton Army could do a little bit of damage to us. But unfortunately for him... We likely just finished the game there. There's nothing he can do. So yeah, right now we're looking very good and boom, we finish off the game. Good game. My opponent played very well, but we end up getting a win. GG's to this dude. All right guys, this is the end of this video. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my uploads. Comment down below a card or a video idea and I will likely do it. But yeah, this deck is very good. I highly recommend it. The Mega Knight is such an overpowered card right now. I highly recommend it. It's a very solid deck. But yeah, guys, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Do whatever you want with this deck. Copy it, screenshot, do whatever you want. Go ahead and go join my new clan. It would mean a ton. I highly recommend it. Hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. And as always, peace.